Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to episode 107 of the Iron Man series and hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Alright, here we go guys. It's been a while since I've gotten a prayer level, but I just hit 87 prayer. So I still got around like a thousand dragon bones left, so that's like 252 KXP. And I am stacking on some dag bones, so I guess I'll be getting 88 prayer sometime in the future. It's gonna help though, cause you know, more prayer, the better. So guys, I want to upgrade my raid gear once again. I'm going to be imbuing the South Amulet so that I can destroy the skeleton room. What well, the South Amulet is 20% accuracy and damage uh, for range and magic if it's imbued. So I can stack it with my Void and my Rigor against the skeleton room. So I could wipe that room out so fast and you get them pretty much almost every raid. And also, I'm going to be upgrading from Diamond Bolts to Dragon Bolts Enchanted for Raids, okay? Since I realized the fence isn't that big of an issue, you just want to hit as hard as you can. So Dragon Bolts definitely is going to, you know, speed up the kills. So I have 888 Boltis from Zora. I'm going to make more though. I have like 60 Dragon Stones that I could get out of these keys. So you're wondering, why not just turn them into jewelry? Well, I have a shit ton of jewelry, as you can see. So there's no reason to make any more. So I might as well just... Uh, turn the dragonstone into dragon bolts where it's actually useful to speed up my raids all right this is gonna be the last enchant almost got 2000 dragon bolts enchanted oh baby that's gonna be fun to use okay next step imbuing the salve amulet so people have the biggest issues fighting kamel in the nightmare zone and it's a really easy way to go about killing him just start protecting for mage because if you do that you force them next to you and then just uh, get out your blowpipe and spam click all you gotta do is this spam click have your uh, prayer off so he's very weak to range and pretty much all of the desert treasure bosses in nightmare zone are super weak to range uh, same with this for reed here you can also save spot for reed so you don't need an ice gloves just uh, trap the one that you're trying to kill and just attack him from there and that way you don't have to take off your gloves or anything like that so if you want to get the fastest Nightmare Zone points like possible, you have to have Desert Treasure bosses and Dream Answer bosses in there. So that's why, you know, you have to deal with Camille, but they're really easy once you know the trick. So for Dalmas, he also drains a lot of your prayers, so another easy way to avoid it is, you guess that you just save spot, so that way he just doesn't lower your prayer. It's super easy to do. Hmm, nice, that 51 though. As you can see, the art light is definitely working for pretty much all the demons here. I'm not sure about jungle demon, I think it's supposed to, but I haven't really noticed anything too differently. But like legends boss, the uh, grand tree boss, probably chrono zone, and the shadow of the storm boss is probably affected by it from what I've seen. So yeah, art light is a really nice uh, weapon to have here if you want to get points fast. So I just got over a million points in less than 40 minutes but yep let's go ahead and imbue it so now it's enchanted and imbued i am digging the uh, new superior monster graphics update look at this choke devil actually looks extra menacing you know it's not just another large uh, version of these guys but it's actually a unique look good honestly oh what <laughs> Two freaking night beasts, man. I like the night beast look too, though. Looks really menacing here. Okay, so I am using Dins at uh, Ankus, and yeah, they're pretty good here too. This map's a little bit more tricky, but yeah, it's pretty easy to figure out where the center is. Well, I just hit 600 KC at KBD. Okay, that's it. I just actually did my 900th Slayer task. Wow. Alright, time to get another master clue. I'm getting these quite fast, so can we do this? Mandareth. Alright, that's a good start. I can definitely do that. Nope, it doesn't. Wow. Before I fight this guy, I really want to show you something. It says equip a new imbue crystal bow, but this crystal bow is only 710. Don't even bother making a complete new one, because you can just use a used one. It still works. Alright guys, let's open up this master clue. Never mind, I guess the luck streak for Master Clues is over. I got a lot of teleports though and some runes. Damn, look at that. 74! Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. South Emily E with Dragon. 
bots. 66! Oh my god, Skeleton Rooms is destroyed with this. I love this new setup, dude. It's so freaking OP. Okay, how many points do I have now? Oh, come on, I just missed the boat. 400 points! Okay, I'm actually leaving. <laughs> oh, here we go. Elite Void Knight. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Yes, please, can you upgrade my Void Top? Yes, 200 points upgraded. Yep, boy, got the top upgraded now. All I gotta do is upgrade the bottom. Yes, please. Ah, there we go. That's really nice. So check this out. Here's my prayer bonus right now, 10. So I put this on. That's an extra 3. I put this on. That's uh, another extra 3 for a total of plus 6. So it's going to be really nice to use, especially for raids and uh, wyverns. Those are the two main things that I got Void for anyway. So it's a really good upgrade for sure. And plus it looks uh, a bit cooler as well. So worth it. Now I don't have to do pest control anymore, which is great. Yes! Finally, man! How many days has it been? Seriously. <gasps> oh my god! No way! Yes way! Oh my god. That is what I am talking about. And yeah, first trip in into the Greater Demon Task, as you can see. And yep, I got myself the Zamrak Hilt. Of course, I'm still missing that silly ass uh, Steam Battle Staff, so I plan on completing all of this. I still need to get the Bando Cell and the Armadale Hill and whatnot, but that's just so awesome, man. That looks beautiful. Alright, let's manufacture a God Sword Blade. I have enough shards for all four God Swords, so. Oh, okay, one last part, I think. Here we go. And that makes a perfected Gossard Blade. And put that hilt on, and here we go. Got myself the CGS. Mmm, that feels good. That looks good. So one last thing, I am going to definitely have to start working on the uh, 73 Hunter. Because the 73 Hunter, I can hunt the Black Chin Chompas. Because now that I have the hilt, the only thing I need from Zami is the Steam Stab, which isn't that important. So I think I'll uh, definitely start working on Armadale Grind. Uh, as soon as I get the next Armadale task or as soon as I get the 73 Hunter. So yeah, Armadale is definitely coming up soon too as well. God Sword Shard 1! Second ever God Sword Shard from Zami. Well, I finished the Greater Demon task at Zami basically and I'm at 400 plus KC now and I just got 141 Black Demon task. It's not bad at all man, I still need to get that last Zenite so. A Ballista Spring! I'm pretty sure I have one of this already. What the heck is up with all these ballista drops? Well, nice. Uh, 70 KC now for some silver ore and uncut sapphire. Oh shit, wow, I finished my wyvern trip. It was a really long one. And I got over 9,000 wyvern KC now. So I guess the 1K left and then we hit the big 10,000 wyvern kill milestone. That's kind of crazy. Finished up another Demonic Realist task. I'm just gonna guess I'm at like 1400 KC. So uh, here we go. Okay, I was pretty cl close. How <laughs> that one Torture Gorilla. I got 1365 KC. So I'm feeling it, man. Next task. That's gonna be the one where I get my fourth Zenite. The fourth and final one. There we go. Ooh, nice. Definitely knew I had that. Personal best coming in 33 minutes. I'm pretty sure I beat my personal best by like six, seven minutes. I don't remember, but yeah, it's a lot. Oh, wait. Time to go ahead and uh, cash in the cape though. Yeah, I'm not gonna get my cape back. Yes. Can we just gamble? Oh, you're not lucky. See, that's why I don't do this task anymore, man. Oh, shit. Oh, man. I just got myself an AVNC's task. Ooh, that's, that's really nice. So at this point, I think it's time to head over to Armadale. I'm not ready yet exactly. I need to go get that 73 Hunter. So uh, I'm just going to grind it and then prepare for the Armadale task for sure. So I am currently uh, training my Hunter at the uh, Black Lizards. And as you can see on, on the XP side, I'm getting like 110k right now. And I think I, it might flat out around 100k. But this is crazy. You know, with shit drop, it's so easy to, to get rates like this. I'm not really that high hunter either, so like I'm guessing you can get way higher here when you're higher level, but yeah, pretty good. I should be able to get to 73 uh, rather quick. 
Alright, just got level 70 in Hunter finally. Now reach uh, 70 all skills, which is kind of cool. Alright, so three more levels to go. I'll be getting uh, each level in under an hour, which is kind of crazy. So that's always nice. Alright, that's going to be the last one to 71 Hunter. And now I can trap imps. Now, trapping imps is a big deal because I can, you know, use the imp box to uh, teleport those black chins to my bank in a uh, case of like peak cares and stuff so that's really nice I always thought it was higher level than uh, 71 but hey that's good I can actually use them so yeah I definitely should have brought my stamina for this it would have made this fight so much easier you want to be running around the whole time so alright just finished my first ever solo raid um surprisingly it didn't take over an hour so that's pretty cool but Damn, dude, it's so much harder. But yeah, that is uh, pretty good. Hopefully, there will be a lot of big improvements. So, turns out I didn't need to bring a full inventory of brews with me. Hmm. Still have a lot of supplies left. I suicided in the beginning. Dropped like 27, 20 brews and stuff, but I, I didn't actually use all of them. So, I guess I don't need to make that much for next time. Alright, now I can kill them all. <gasps> what? What? Wow, I don't know how they comboed me like that. That's so bullshit. Oh, wow, that was such a tough kill. If I didn't make those silly mistakes, this would have been much faster, but... I guess not bad for a second attempt of solo raids. So guys, I just did two solo raids. They have been pretty rough, but of course, that's to be expected, you know? It's a huge learning curve, uh, learning how to solo raids. So as far as I'm concerned, I can only be improving from here. And uh, one of the biggest things for raids in general is just figuring out a good rotation uh, for you to start doing raids because some raid layouts are a lot harder than other raid layouts. So being able to just kind of predict uh, when to do the raid and when to bail from the raid is a huge deal. So we already got that figured out. So for this one in particular, it is the Muted Dao then Shaman. So uh, that means the second floor is going to be Skeletal Mages and the mining room so this raid is very easy now you're not always gonna get rotations this good but I was able to figure out like the uh, monster rotations for bosses because of Wooks's solo raids guy his guide is amazing if you haven't seen it definitely go check it out because if you want to learn how to do raids uh, and learn like all the cool stuff his video has everything you really need to know and then all the extra stuff that you probably wouldn't be able to do because you know that's like a Wooks kind of thing but yeah it's in the description so go check it out if you haven't I think I'm just gonna keep doing soul raids when I get the chance because honestly this is pretty fun and good practice and yeah overall if I can master this then I won't really need to rely on anybody to uh, be able to you know do raids and stuff so old school servers has been under attack by a massive DDoS this whole week and Jagex basically stated that they have never seen a DDoS uh, this complicated before. So yeah, it's a pretty big problem. I mean like it's affecting pretty much everyone at least for a few days if not the, the whole week and I mean I mean I wasn't affected in the beginning but like these past three days I've been uh, feeling the effects quite uh, hard like only some worlds I can go into most worlds if I try you know I, I disconnect or the ping is so bad that probably I end up disconnecting in a few minutes anyway so yeah it, it's shitty I mean right now you can try to use a VPN to bypass the DDoS and uh, you can also use like always buddy the gateway system thing and my biggest concern with this whole thing is the fact that we just don't know when the DDoS is gonna stop and we also don't know uh, whether or not it's gonna get you know better or worse anytime soon so that sucks there might be some unforeseen difficulties with you know my ability to play this game and being able to do stuff like bossing so there might be some difficulties with like progress videos I'm not sure but I'll try my best to keep up with the progress even though the DDoS is pretty demoralizing. I mean, I've done this before where I play RuneScape in Shanghai and China and basically China just doesn't like you connecting to foreign sites so they basically censor the fuck out of, you know, your connection. So I've experienced really shitty connections uh, before and I've dealt with it so I think I should be okay. Unless I literally cannot just log into RuneScape because the DDoS is that bad. So hopefully it doesn't come to that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. 
and I hope to see you guys soon with another video in a few days. Hopefully we get some more PVM gains in the next episode. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later with another video. Take care and bye bye.